Subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. When you watch a Vidya Jamwal film, the first question is, when does the fighting start? For almost a decade now, Vidyut, who's famous for doing his own stunts and whose skills include the ancient martial art, Kalari Paya too, has been decimating bad guys on screen with finesse. His films, like the Commando franchise, position him as a one-man army who pummels, slices, kicks and pirouettes. Nothing can stand in the way of the Jamwal offensive. In Commando 3, he saved India while keeping his man bun in place. In Khuda Hafiz, writer-director Farooq Kabir tries to expand the Vidyo Jamwal repertoire. The film has been inspired by a true incident and the fighting doesn't begin until around minute 56. Until then, Khuda Hafiz establishes the love story between Vidyut, playing a Lucknow-based software engineer Samir, and his newlywed wife Nargis. It's a Hindu-Muslim arranged marriage, but Farooq doesn't explore this intriguing premise further. The couple is grappling with more practical realities like a global recession. It's 2008. After losing their jobs, both apply to companies in the fictional Middle Eastern country of Noman. Nargis leaves first, but disappears from the airport. A distraught Samir follows to unravel the mystery of his missing wife. The setup isn't new. The missing wife has been a trope in cinema for decades. In fact, Roman Polanski's 1988 film Frantic had a similar situation of a man, Dr. Richard Walker, played by Harrison Ford, searching for his wife in a foreign country, France, where language becomes a stumbling block. Twenty years later, Liam Neeson was also looking for his missing daughter in Paris in the blockbuster Taken. Farouk tries to build authenticity and suspense by having characters speak extensively in Arabic, only some of which is translated for the audience. The idea, the director has said, is for viewers to experience the same sense of frustration and desperation that Samir does. Which might be good in theory, but in practice, it stalls the movement and makes the film dreary. Anu Kapoor playing Usman, an impossibly helpful taxi driver, livens up the frame momentarily. Usman speaks Hindi, which makes Samir's and our lives a little easier. But the screenplay isn't tight enough to create the sense of urgency that Samir feels. The plot plods along for almost an hour until the first action set piece arrives. I got happier when Vidyut clenched his fists. The action, choreographed by Ivanov Victor and Andreas Nugian, is raw and furious. The first few minutes are staged in this long, narrow corridor, while Samir is sort of plunging this knife into all these men who are trying to hold him. Bones break with a crunching sound, and one man's jaw is split apart by the edge of a wall. It's not an easy watch. Once the fighting begins, the visuals get more grotesque. At one point, Samir is having a conversation with a man who has this fork and a knife sticking out of his body. It's both brutal and unintentionally comical. Khuda Hafiz has been extensively shot in Uzbekistan. Farooq and DOP Jitan Harmeet Singh make good use of the landscapes. From the singular architecture and sand-colored homes to the barren highways. At one point, we get a Mad Max-style chase with swirling clouds of dust. For a change, Vidyut is playing a saviour who isn't in Superman mode. Samir gets hurt and bleeds, he faints and even sheds tears. The story requires Vidyut to deliver a range of emotions. He pushes himself, but is still most convincing when he's inflicting pain. Shivalika Oberoi, who plays Nargis, has little to do except first be childlike and naive, and then wait to be saved. Farooq works hard to infuse a gritty realism into the narrative, but ultimately Khuda Hafiz falls into that same sort of silly territory that Vidyo Jamal action movies often do. Logic exits the frame. The villains become more outlandish. Nargis, despite her ordeal, continues to look surprisingly fresh-faced and healthy. Indian actors like Shiv Pandit and Ahana Kumra playing Newman locals with clumsy accents doesn't help. Neither does the stilted dialogue. At one point, Usman tells Samir, Tum jisko karz kehte ho, pathan use farz manta hai. Usman, of course, is the latest in the long line of courageous and loyal pathans in Hindi cinema, going back to the iconic Sher Khan and Prakash Mehra Zanjeev. Khuda Hafiz wants to be both an emotional love story and an unflinching action drama, but it falls somewhere in between. You can watch the film on Disney Plus Hotstar. For more reviews like this, subscribe to Film Companion and don't forget to check out our website, filmcompanion.in.